Geometry Chapter 1, Lesson 4, Video A. And I think we're going to do four videos, so A, B, C, D. This will be um, A. Uh, we're going to look at segments, rays, parallel lines, and planes in this chapter. And we'll break these up into looking at each one separately. And then um, I'll probably have some example videos if you want to are having trouble with some of your homework, you can check those out. So the first video, again, this is video A, we're going to look at just segments, okay? What are segments? Uh, and even though this says segments and rays, I'm only going to look at segments, and then we'll uh, sec uh, put the video up in uh, rays and different one, okay? So segments. Many geometric figures, such as squares and angles, are formed by parts of lines called segments. Again, when we're taking notes, we're just looking for the key facts. We're not copying our book. We can use copiers and printing presses for that. We're not in the Stone Ages. We don't need to, or Middle Ages. I don't even know if they wrote Stone Ages. But Middle Ages, we don't need to copy things by hand. We just want the key points. Okay? So many geometric figures, as we read, such as squares, angles, are formed by parts of lines called segments. So a segment is a part of the line consisting of two endpoints and all the points between. Okay? So that's what a segment is. So all that's all the information that I need to remember about a segment. A segment is a part of a line. You remember, a line goes on forever in both directions. So we can actually never even draw a line because they go on forever. But we can draw a part of a line, and every part that we draw is called a segment. It's a portion of the entire line. Now, because it's only part of a line, it's going to start somewhere and it's going to end somewhere. So it has two endpoints, one point here, one point here, and all the points in between is what makes up a segment. And we use segments to actually draw figures, squares. You draw a segment, another segment, another segment, another segment, and lo and behold, you have a square. So we're going to use segments quite a bit throughout the year, so we're going to get need to be very familiar with it. Okay, now we name a segment. It's a part of a line. How do we name a line? We use any two points on the line. When we're naming a segment, we can't use any two points in the segment. We actually have to use the endpoints of the segment. So the two letters that we decide to use are the ends of the segment. And then all the points in between included with those two points are what makes up a segment. Now I want you to notice the segment symbol. And again, this is very important to recognize the difference between this symbol and the line symbol, okay? Because again, you're naming it in kind of the same way that you name a line. Fly, sorry. Get out of here. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, line. You name a line using how many letters? Two. You're going to name a segment by using how many letters? Two. Well, how do I know the difference between whether you're talking about a line, meaning everything that goes on forever, or you're talking about a segment? Well, the only way to know the difference is to use a different symbol. So for a symbol, for a line symbol, we use a line with two arrows on each end. Notice the segment symbol, all right? It's different. What's the difference between the line symbol and the line segment symbol? Okay, make sure you answer that, make sure that's in your notes. Okay, just a hint. The segment doesn't have any arrows. Why doesn't it have any arrows? Well, arrows show that it's going on forever. If there aren't any arrows, that means it stops. Okay, and a segment stops. A line goes on forever. So it's very important that you make sure that you, when you are trying to communicate to me that you're talking about a line, you use the line, you use the arrows, when you're trying to indicate you're talking, no, I'm only talking about a segment, you use the correct symbol, okay? And this is where the answer to that planes intersecting comes into play. Remember I talked about it in the last video or one of the videos when we talk about planes in section three? Planes intersect and form what? A line. Most students, when they look at a figure and I ask you where do the planes intersect, they'll just give me, uh, let's say, A, B because and they'll use the segment symbol because all that's in the figure is a segment. But by definition, two planes intersect and they form what? A line. So what should my answer be? 
a line. So if you just give me AB with the line segment symbol, you're saying that two planes intersect in a segment. It's not true. By definition, two planes intersect in a line, so my answer needs to be a line. Okay, so that was kind of review and digression there, but just to hope I need to make sure that point. So the difference between those is the arrows themselves, okay? So I believe, let me double check here, that's all there is. Yeah, that's all there is about segments, so that's the end of this um, video. So go ahead, write your summary, and then go ahead and look in the homework problem, see if there's anything that has to do with those. And you can do those or watch the next video where I talk about rays, and then you can go on from there.